Dave Nussbaum for the latest on our weather. I know some cold weather is in store for us. Dave, anything that might leave the roadways slick like that? Not in the short term. Maybe something possibly next Monday. We'll talk about that coming up in a little bit. But right now, though, it's all rain. It's too warm for any kind of wintry precipitation here in the Birmingham area. Right now, a lot of cloud cover, kind of ominous skies we have across the area this morning, morning and now in the afternoon. Rain to our north to our south. Live look at the radar to show. We'll continue looking at these showers moving on through. Most of this is light to a quick little downpour. Nothing as strong as we saw this morning with all the lightning and some of the uh, even size hail we saw as well uh, to the city itself. Again, a few showers just about to come in there from Olga area heading toward Fultondale, Gardendale, Summerton area back up on I-22 to Jasper, Carbon Hill, Double Springs, Haleyville, Coleman picking up a little bit some of that light to more steady or rain coming on down off to the east. Anderson, Oxford had some downpours. Now it's kind of moving away from you in the Jacksonville area toward Heflin and heading over toward the Georgia Alabama line. But we picked up about over an inch of rain here in the Birmingham area just this morning with that one band that came through mainly south. The airport did not get near as much. Obviously down to the south of Lecog, about 1.7 there over toward Tuscaloosa, about an inch and up near the Hamilton area and Fayette, maybe about two inches in a few spots according to the Doppler radar estimates, at least at this point. So still looking at some pretty good rain continue to work the way through and even back to the west. Not a lot of rain here, but notice it's kind of changing over some snow across north central Mississippi after some icy conditions across the Memphis area in Little Rock. Fortunately, those now uh, ice storm warnings have been expired, but you can still see in the Dallas area they had the winter storm warning popping up there, uh, but we still get a lot of heavy rain, flooding rain in southeast Louisiana, southern part of Mississippi, where they've had to deal with some a lot of street flooding issues there as the front is just kind of creeping its way eastward here. Wish it would just kind of sweep on through. We'd have colder air coming in, but at least the rain would come to an end right now, though. You can see again just some of those advisories to the north, but nothing here in Alabama, which is some good news. Live look downtown BJCC camera does show again the cloudy sky temperature 61 south wind at three, so it's not that cold out there, at least not yet. You can see as you go up towards say Hamilton, it's 40, about 21 degrees colder than it is here as the front continues to push to the south. That front moves on in. There's your bit of cold there slowly sinking its way southward here. Teens in Oklahoma City back down in Dallas. We had those freezing conditions that caused those icing conditions in uh, Fort Worth. We're not going to get to that cold. We're staying in the 50s through 6 o'clock and then we're going to be down into the 40s as we head to about bedtime tonight. You'll see on our future cast there are the temperatures in the 50s this afternoon. As the rain comes to an end, that's when the cold air gets in here, so we don't have to worry about any kind of wintry precipitation here. A little trough sits over the area tomorrow, but as the rain that falls, it'll be in the lower 50s. So again, still warm enough to be all rain out there. And then when rain comes into play here on Saturday morning, maybe a few sleet pellets mixed in far enough to the north, but it looks like just a cold rain for us during the day on Saturday. Now, rain totals between now and say Friday night could be around two to three inches. We've already had over an inch in some spots here, so we're going to continue looking at more of that. That clears out for Saturday afternoon noon on into Sunday, which is great news. But then as we get into Monday, watch for a few flurries here off to our north Monday morning, and then potentially this is where we may have to deal with some icing conditions. Potentially a lot of uncertainty still exists. We'll watch this going on into Monday night into Tuesday morning before that clears out. So that's something I'm going to be talking about here in the forecast the next couple of days. So stormy today, colder weather for the weekend. It looks good actually for Valentine's Day, but will be cold. There's that chance for a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain Monday into Tuesday morning before we warm back up heading on into your Wednesday. All right, thanks a lot, Dave.